Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Forza Motorsport. We are in, in the multiplayer lobby here discussing the 1.1 update, which didn't really fix anything. Well, stay tuned to find out. This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. Well, in all honesty, the 1.1 update didn't really fix much. It was kind of like a hot fix for an infinite loading screen. And that's really all that was. And the very first update was to help fix a lot of crashing in various game modes and all that kind of fun stuff. But the thing that's worrisome to me is the fact that it still hasn't fixed the Steam Deck boot launching. And it's, I know, it's very subjective and very insignificant in the grand scheme of things, but it's a little bit disappointing that one of the brand, the biggest, most brand new gaming consoles to hit the market still can't launch. But of course I uh, digress here. And the cool thing that I wanted to really discuss here today is my current experience in multiplayer. Obviously, this is my very first time in the multiplayer lobby, and I'm very concerned <laughs> about how this is all going. But I think more racing games really do need to work with what's going on here in Forza Motorsport. I love the idea that you can have like a practice run and then like a qualifying run and then like an actual, then the actual race. I know Gran Turismo 7 does that. I know probably iRacing, but as far as any other significant racing games, I'm not sure many do have that, like having to practice a qualifier and then like an actual race mode. So huge kudos to turn 10 for really implementing that and it's already making this mode really 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 fun in my mind because i was able to get used to some of the other players in the lobbies kind of see how some of them were driving or not really driving seeing how my times were stacking up and honestly i was semi-competitive i think in practice i finished like fifth of course i didn't actually qualify by accident and i think my driving is fairly okay-ish <laughs> in comparison to this lobby here. Of course, I had that uh, one-off incident where he wanted to turn one a little bit too hot there. The one thing that he did want to discuss is kind of like I was talking about in the last Ports of Motorsport video that I made, talking about how there's a lot of criticisms around the game, and obviously, you know, rightly so, but I actually left the Ports of motorsports subreddit because it was just like a cesspool of people complaining about it and again like i get it i get that there's a lot of things that need to be fixed in this game and i have my critiques as well of what needs to be fixed i.e may i remind them steam deck exists but it's just like we don't need to hear for like the millionth time that the replay system is broken. Like, we know it is. That's why I'm not going to partake in watching it when the race is done, because I know it's broken. You know, but we don't need a community of just constantly bashing them. Because ironically, like, even there's still but Wow. Ironically, even though that there's still a lot of critiques and negativity going around in the community, it still sold fairly well. I don't think it... I think it got, like, to number 7 in the Steam Top 10, which, honestly, for a new racing game is a little bit low. Normally, they've been in, like, the top 5. But still, like, you can tell that this game sold millions of copies and has had millions of players because the game pass. So, as much as we'll yell at turn 10 for releasing an unoptimized game, we're still the idiots for buying it in an unfinished state. You know, 
the only way companies will listen is if you vote with our with your wallets and we didn't we still i still bought the ultimate edition pre-order bundle because i wanted to play a couple of days early <sighs> hate being content creator but then it's just like you know and since playing this game the only true bugs that i've had has been with the steam deck launching or not launching really i mean since doing this video have you guys noticed any bugs no me neither so i think the situation is that everybody has like these one-off bugs here and there and will rant about it and then tell turn 10 how they need to fix their game and whatnot which is fine fair i get it hey somebody quit which means i might move up a place Woohoo! <laughs> Let's see if I can pass this guy. Oh, he's going to come. Ooh. I was very concerned that he was going to just shut the door on me right as I'm trying to pass him. So I'm glad that didn't happen. Thank you for the clean pass. And so we make our way up past lapping of 11th place here. So back to the title of the video, the update 1.1. Did it fix anything? For some people, probably. <laughs> this game has been weirdly functional for me since launch, apart from the Steam Deck, which I'll not stop talking about. But on a Windows 10 PC with an i7 9700K and an RTX 3070 Ti, I want to say this is running high graphics, 1080p. Not even a frame drop, which I find surprising. So, this game is optimized for me. So, if I stop listening, if we all as a community stop listening to the rest of the community and start saying, hey, you know, if we just actually play this game, you'll see how optimized it is for 75% of everybody. I think that's the problem is that we'll play this for a little bit, have an okay time, and then go on to Reddit and then realize how much we hate it. And it's like, that's that's not cool. And my tires fell off. Holy crap, that last lap. Ugh. Oh, that was rough. But without qualifying, it went up to six, went up six positions up into fifth. So I'm, uh, and no penalties, even though I fell off, so... <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> so yeah, as you can tell, it's kind of a slow news week. We're only discussing the 1.1 update of Forza Motorsport. And next week, we'll actually be reviewing the new EAWRC game. So please stay tuned for all of that. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As we'll most likely talk about the Forza Motorsport update 1.2 eventually. So stay tuned for that. And again, stay tuned for the... EAWRC rally again kind of a short video here today kind of a ramble on discussing uh, the multiplayer which is functional and I like it so woohoo <laughs> so again thanks so much for watching hope you guys have a great day today take care bye